My name is Kayla Pope and I'm a librarian at the North Point branch of the Baltimore County Public Library. And for today's project, we are going to make melted crayon art. So I have an example of a previous art project that I did. And really all we're, that we're going to do is take some blank canvas and put some crayons at the top and using a hairdryer, melt the crayons down. And I'll give you a close up. And you can see that it really is just the rainbow of colors. Um, you can choose whatever colors you want for your project. Um, I am going to be doing um, kind of a summer, spring, summer themed project. So I chose to use brighter colors like pinks, oranges, yellows, but you can do anything with this um, before or after. So I know you can um, maybe use some acrylic paint and make a cool project over into the crayons. Um, you can also do what I did, which is cut out some stencils with some scrap paper and tape them down and then melt the crayons over top. And that's what I'm gonna demonstrate for you today. So to get started, what you will need is some blank canvas. You can either um, get canvas like this or you can use some nice art paper, maybe some watercolor paper, something that's really, really stiff, but also um, can absor uh, absorb it in so that the crayons don't tear through um, softer papers as they're melting. And then you need crayons. Now you can use any type of old crayon. It doesn't have to be brand new. Um, I had some leftover crayons that I've had for a few years and all I did was um, take off the wrappers and um, use them that way. So all we're doing is melting them. They don't have to be perfect. And then of course you're gonna either need glue or access to hot glue. You can see I've got a flower and a bee that I'm going to try to um, apply the heat at the top and melt uh, all of the crayon stuff over it. And then hopefully I'll still, I'll be able to pull these off and you'll see the white silhouette of those at the very end. So uh, for the gluing part, all I did was using the hot glue, I applied a little bit of hot glue to the back of each crayon and made sure they're stuck on there because you don't want them to kind of fall off as you're, um, as you're using the heat. Um, and really that's it. So we're gonna see how it turns out. If I don't like it, like I mentioned before, I can always use paint and add to it. I can always add more crayons to it. I can keep using the hairdryer uh, to blow the melted crayons around until you get your desired effect. Uh, it's really up to you, but it's a really neat way to make collages. You can um, use these for gifts or just uh, as artwork to decorate your room. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate uh, what the process looks like when you're actually melting the crayons. You will need a hair dryer. Um, I would recommend starting off um, on warm and lower heat um, just because you're gonna be holding your artwork as well. So you also wanna be kind of careful um, and we don't wanna melt it all too fast until we kind of see where it's going. Um, and uh, again, we wanna make sure that our crayons are kind of firmly in place. I'm just double checking, they look good to go. These are taped down, hopefully the wax will just drip over that and we're gonna see what we get. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and we'll see how we do. So that's the beginning part and I can already see that some of my tape started to come up with the heat so I may not get the finished product that I like. Um, I'm going to keep going for another minute or so but again you want to be careful make sure you give yourself lots of space and you might have noticed that there's a lot of crayon melted crayon just coming off of this so um, give yourself space so you don't have anything around you that could possibly um, have this stuff stick to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it another go. And I'm gonna try to do it a little bit flatter this time and see where it ends up. Woo! All right, well, I think I got a pretty good start. So I'm going to pull off the bit that I started. Ah, oh, let's see. If this one did any better, I don't think it will.
it didn't come out quite like I wanted it to. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do now is I think what I'm going to do is go back and probably take some just regular acrylic paint and kind of paint in those shapes that I wanted. But that's okay. This is definitely something that you can keep applying heat to um, and just keep on playing with it until you find something you like. Thank you for tuning in for our Melted Crayon Art Program. For more programs like this, please go visit our website, bcpl.info, for more information about upcoming programs. Thanks for tuning in.